So you were on a pan, um, an interview, a video with a, a panel with a trainer from The Biggest Loser who was saying that weight gain is all about calories in, calories out. It's yeah. such a pervasive myth. And it, this is just a math problem. It's energy balance, calories in, yeah. calories out. And you're proposing a different idea, which is often called the carbohydrate insulin hypothesis or right. the hormonal hypothesis, which suggests that it's not about the calories, it's about what calories you eat. Right. So can you take us down into how that works? If someone's listening, they want to know, well, what should I eat? What should I not eat? What's going to actually liberate fat from my fat cells and what's going to store fat? And how do I understand this new science of yeah. why we get fat? Well, this old science. This old science, fat, yeah. which is actually, by the way, gaining traction again. In fact, much of yeah. this conference is about examining some of this new science. There's a whole section on diabetes revisionism, right. which is the idea that our view that diabetes, type 2 diabetes, is a one-way street, it's an re irreversible, chronic, progressive condition, is being turned on its head and saying, no, no, wait, we can cure this disease. Yeah. So this is, um, you know, again, the idea that the obesity is just it's a hormonal regulatory disorder. So it's, and this was a, another German idea, it was gaining traction, it had actually sort of won over the German research community, and by the late 1930s, when, you know, the Germans and Austrians were doing the best medical research in the world, and then the war comes and it just evaporates. But the idea is it's got to be a hormonal regulatory disorder. And there are all kinds of ways that that's clear. You know, you just look at how people fatten differently. Men and women fatten differently. So men get fat above the waist, women below the waist. It tells you that sex hormones are playing a role. You could have sort of isolated areas of fat accumulation. We all know where they are in our body. Although now women <laughs> drinking soda and sugar have it is fat above the know, waist too. <laughs> no, it's funny. I was... Um, <laughs> I was at a uh, family member had surgery at Stanford mm -hmm. uh, about four years ago, and I was sitting in the waiting room waiting for her, and it was fascinating to see that, yeah, all the women, all of them had upper body obesity, and it used to be, you know, that men had upper body yeah. obesity, no women. So the question is, in effect, what regulates fat storage in different fat depots in the human mm -hmm. body and clearly hormones are playing a role and everyone always knew insulin played some role because type 1 diabetics who lack insulin can't store body fat yeah man, and they can't you, metabolize the fat they can't burn the fat that they eat they can't so that's right me, they can't store it like as a and, doctor treating type yeah. 1 diabetic when they come in they're they're producing zero insulin yeah they're eating 10,000 calories a day. They're, they're hungry starving, the time, they're hungry, yeah. and they're losing weight, even yeah. though they're eating 10,000 calories a day. So how could that be? Yeah, so, yeah. and that also in, tells you that out. there's a disassociation between caloric intake and fat accumulation, mm -hmm. and that insulin is in that pathway. Yeah. And so the 1960s, I said you get this science of endocrinology suddenly, and by 1965 or so, it's, it's been pretty well worked out how insulin regulates fat accumulation. It does it through a, a, a whole, you know, sort of sea of uh, enzymes and receptors and um, that it, it upregulates the lipoprotein lipase on the fat cell, which pulls fat into fat cells. It downregulates hormone-sensitive lipase, which should liberate fat from fat cells. It sort of locks it in the fat cells and it, you can't get it out. Exactly. So... And this is textbook medicine. It's in the endocrinology textbooks. It's in the biochemistry <laughs> textbooks. If you look right. up what makes a fat cell fat, it's insulin. High yeah. insulin, low glucagon. You could include glu glucagon. And God, it's so startling, Gary, to me that the science is so clear, and yet the practice of medicine is so far from the science. Well,